this is a short introduction to digital storytelling, storifying and online distribution. Digital storytelling is multimedia, can be audio, written text, photos and video, either separate or together. And storifying is a way of organising factual material so it has a narrative, and distribution is the online platforms on which work can be shared. As an example, we are using a project in Biker, where Claire Webster of Skimstone Arts is working with local residents to create a musical event. Let's do a sort of Biker Bells Blues. And uh, we've got some bells with us. We've got a blues player who's driving at the moment. And, um, I'm not and a so, blues player. No, well, OK, he plays the blues. He's a guitarist, but, you know. Anyway, so what we're hoping is that we will meet people. We're going to sort of set off with a little bit of a, a riff and just get passers-by, um, hopefully people who might pop their heads around the cafe door and just ask them what it's like to live in Biker. This gives an arc and trajectory, so what actually occurred against your expectations beforehand? You could move away from handheld and instead use a tripod, so a locked off shot. This is when the camera is set. Remember though, if you film from a distance you will need a better mic for the camera, or a small audio recorder you can put close and place that sound on in the edit. Film yourself getting ready to do the project, so this is the getting. This can be a good way of showing who you are, your preparation, and keep viewers interested in what is to come. In a storifying sense, it can create anticipation. Step 4. Participants. You will need participants in the video to sign a consent form. We have one available that you can request from us. This is a chance to feature the participants and help them to platform themselves and their contribution through the project. Some further ways of catching a day is time lapse, which is simple to do on most cameras and phones now where you show the whole day speeded up. For editing, there are simple techniques that can help you form your story. So, establishing shots. This is the location. Cutaways. You can shoot a number of these beforehand and they are incidental shots around the space you can use to edit out to if you want to cut between two shots. So you cut away and then cut back. Voiceover. So you can have the participants' voices laid over themselves doing the activity, giving it context, or over locations, or your own voice, or mixed with music. This way you aren't so limited to capturing the vocals while filming. There are some useful video editing applications that you can use, and these are listed in the description of this video. You can use stills on social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. You could take stills separately, or you could pull stills from your video footage. This is done with programs like VLC Player. Once the video is online, you can share or embed the link on your social media profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. While placing it on your own profile is sufficient, you can also use the group search function to look for suitable groups to share the work with. Further to this, you could put up an article about the work on a site such as Board Panda and Good News Network. You can place it on news aggregate sites such as reddit.com if you open an account, which many ask of you. There are curated sites such as Open Culture or Brain Pickings, where you can submit the story. You could also make it more of a news story, and then send that to sites like Huffington Post, but also to local press. If it is worth thinking about what the main themes in your work are, and then typing these into Google and seeing which pages and blogs come up you can reach out to. Okay, so now we have to make it into a biker one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight little, eight little pigeons. Biker, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing's gonna be alright Biker, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing's gonna be alright 